Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Katin from Sub Yoga with Katin coming at you with this morning's intro to yoga class. Give it a few minutes to let people tune in. I hope you guys are doing well and you're ready to move and flow on your mats. We'll have a good 55 minutes of flowing together through some beginner sequences. Um, should be fun. We'll have a little bit of challenges too and move safely on our mats. So make sure you grab some props, grab a sip of water and get ready to move. All right, so let's make our way over to our mats. Can I get a thumbs up if the sound is good for everyone? Thumbs up. All right, cool. So let's get going. So let's make your way onto your mat. And we'll start into a comfortable supine position today. So coming fully onto your backs. If ever the back of the lower back is feeling sensitive, you can always place a bolster or a pillow underneath your knees here. Or you can even let the knees stay bent, allow the knees to come in together. So whatever your body feels best this morning. And just taking these first few moments to settle into your space. you gently start to tune out the outwards. Letting go of anything that's beyond your control in this moment. Letting go of stresses, anxieties, the pandemic in the world. Letting go of what may be waiting for you after your practice. And start to tune inwards. Noticing how the physical body is feeling today. Where you may be holding tension. And see if you can start to send the air and the breath all the way into those areas. Slowly start to deepen your breath. Finding full inhales through the nose as you come to fill the belly, ribs, and lung space. And using every exhale to let go of all the stale air in the body as you create room for newness. Let's take three more deep grounding breaths just like this. Allow the mind to be present. And on the next inhale, slowly reach your arms up overhead. Begin to point your toes, squeeze your thighs. Find a full morning body stretch, like if you're just getting out of bed. Exhale, draw your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a big hug as you gently pull the chin in towards the knees. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, reach everything as you engage. Exhale, hug the knees in towards the chest. One more time. Inhale, reach everything. Exhale, hug the knees in towards the chest. This time as you inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Slowly walk your hands towards the top right corner of your mat and then the feet towards the top right corner of your mat. So you're creating a banana shape or a half moon shape, 
lengthening through the left side of your body. Your left ankle might cross over the right, and the left, uh, right hand might grab a hold of the left wrist as you really elongate that side body. Notice where the mind is going. Can you draw the mind back towards the breath? Using every inhale to lengthen through left side body, noticing the ribs expand with every in breath. Slowly exhale and walk the hands and feet towards the left corners of your mat this time. Right ankle might cross over the left, and the left hand can grab a hold of the right wrist. Trying to keep the shoulders grounded. I'm just noticing how the side body is feeling. One more breath here. Beautiful. Come back to center. Hug your knees in towards your chest. And slowly rock it out side to side as you massage into the lower back. Come back to stillness. Let the soles of the feet connect to the floor. Arms come alongside your body. Allow the palms to face down here as you find stability with the arms and hands. Your feet should be just a few inches away from the sit bones. And on the next in-breath, press your hips up towards the sky, moving into a bridge pose. You're really activating the legs and the glutes here. See if you could press up just a bit higher. Wonderful. Take another inhale, press your hips up a bit more. And as you exhale, lower down one vertebra at a time. We'll let the sit bones come to a hover off the ground, about one inch from the floor. Let's do that a few more times. Inhale, press your hips up. Exhale, lower down one vertebra at a time. Keep moving with your breath. This time as you inhale, shift the hips up towards the sky. The weight will come into your left foot. Right leg will reach up towards the sky. Let your toes point towards your face. And as you exhale, wrap your right ankle over top of your left knee, making a figure four position with the legs. Exhale, lower the sit bones all the way down to the floor. Take your hands, interlace them behind your left thigh as you gently draw your left knee in a little bit closer towards the chest. You should be feeling lengthening through the right glutes and hamstring. Let the shoulders be soft. Sending the air all the way into that right glute and hip. Maybe you'll lengthen the left leg up towards the sky. Creating some circular motion with your ankles as you want the legs. Just a few more breaths here. Exhale, lower that left leg down to the floor. Release the interlace of the hands. Open your arms up to a T, nice and wide, to either side of your mat. We'll start to turn onto left side body, so I'm bringing my right foot down to the floor beside me as I twist. If you want to deepen into that twist, turn your gaze over towards your right fingertips. We'll take three breaths here. Inhale, draw the knees back up. And this time, keeping the position of the legs, Drop the legs towards the right side of your mat. Beautiful. You have the option of staying here. Or maybe you'll take your left hand, see if you could draw them towards your bottom foot. This is cat chasing its tail. A little bit of a back bend here as you untwist. 
Slowly draw the knees back up. And then we'll draw the right knee in towards that right shoulder. Take a hold of your right shin with both of your hands. And you might start to draw little mini circles in towards the belly. You have the option of keeping the left leg bent, or maybe you'll lengthen that leg all the way down to the floor, finding winter leading pose. Starting to deepen those circles with that right knee. You might even just use one hand as those circles become bigger. Just tuning in to how the hips are feeling. And if there's a certain area that needs some extra loving, you might even hold in that spot. Slowly draw your right knee up towards your right shoulder. You might stay here or allow the right foot to shine up towards the sky. Take a hold of your right hand and grab the outside edge of your right foot, finding a half happy baby pose. Deep hip opener here. You're lengthening through the left hip flexor and opening through that right groin. Two more breaths here. Exhale, release that right foot back down to the floor. If the left leg extended all the way down, bend the left knee and take the left foot down to the floor as well. Both feet will come hip width distance apart and we'll windshield wiper the knees side to side just for a few rounds. And as you move the knees side to side, I'd like you to notice how the right hip might start to feel more open than the left. Just with a few minutes of movement, you can already start to notice shifts in the body. One more towards the right. And then take the knees back up through center. Legs come about hip width distance apart. Arms come alongside the body, palms to face down. Let's move into those bridge poses once again. Inhale, lift the hips up towards the sky as you engage the glutes and the legs. Exhale, lower down one vertebra at a time. Let the bum hover off the floor. A few more rounds. Inhale, press those hips up. And lower down. Let's take three more. Taking this morning's practice nice and slow here, really moving with integrity. Inhale, this time press your hips up, shift your weight into your right leg. Left leg will shine up towards the sky. Let your toes lift towards your face for one breath. Exhale, take that left ankle towards the right knee, making a figure four shape with the legs. Gently make your way onto the sit bones. And then draw the interlaced fingers behind that right leg, slowly pulling the right knee in towards the chest. This time you'll feel the sensations in your left glute and hip. And see if you can send the air all the way into that area. Using every inhale to create space. And exhale to soften in the sensations. You might lengthen the right leg, drawing circles with your right ankle. Make sure that if you go one direction, you switch it around. Wonderful, right foot comes back down to the floor. Take your arms out to a T or cactus the arms out depending on how much space you have. And then slowly start to turn onto right side body as the left foot comes down to the right of your mat. You can stay here, maybe you'll deepen into your twist, turning your gaze over to your left fingertips. Let's take three breaths here. Mm -hmm. 
Inhale, take the knees back up through center. Keep the position of the legs, and this time we'll drop the legs towards the left side of the mat. You have the option of staying here, or maybe you'll take that right hand and draw it towards your toes, finding a gentle back bend. Beautiful. Draw the knees back up through center. And this time we'll take the left knee in towards that left shoulder. Taking the hands, interlace them over the shin. We'll all stay here or maybe we'll lengthen the right leg, moving into our wind relieving variation. Again, finding gentle semicircles towards the belly and the thighs. As you slowly start to deepen your circles, maybe you'll remove one hand and use only the left hand to draw the knee from side to side. Remembering that if you find a spot that needs some extra loving, you can always hold and stay with the breath. Slowly start to draw your left knee towards the left shoulder. You can stay here and maybe that left foot shines up towards the sky. Taking the left hand to the outside edge of that left foot. Gently pulling in a little bit closer towards the shoulder. Finding that half happy baby variation. Right hip is staying grounded. Shoulders are soft. And the air is sending into the hips. Two more breaths. Exhale, slowly release your left foot back down to the ground. Right knee will bend, taking the right sole of the foot to the ground as well. Feet come a little bit wider than the hips. Windshield wipe of the knees side to side. So we had a nice gentle warm up. Let's start to build a bit more heat in the body, moving into our sun salutation slowly. Knees come back to center, draw your knees in towards the chest, and we'll start to rock and roll up and down the spine. These rocks might feel a little bit shaky or bumpy. Let's see if you can start to smooth them out. When you have enough momentum, notice if you can rise onto the sit bones without using the hand, arriving to Navasana boat pose. You can always take the hands down alongside the sit bones or maybe just slightly back. Make sure you roll the shoulders down away from the ears as you lengthen the spine towards the ceiling. Core is engaging. Shins are parallel to the floor. Take a big breath here. And as you exhale, lower down, find low boat. Keeping the heels and the shoulders lifted off the ground. My core is nice and tight and I'm trying to flatten out that area in the lower spine. Inhale, rise back up. And we'll do that a few more times. Exhale, lower down, low boat. Inhale, rise up. If this is too easy peasy for you, you can always straighten your legs. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower. Let's do one more just like that. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower and hold. Draw your arms up towards your ears and see if you can start to make some rocking boats. Woo! A few more rounds just like that. Feel the core engaging. Heat is building in the body. Come back to stillness. Rise up, high boat. Interlace the legs, roll over your knees, tabletop position. Nice, I hope that brought a little smell to your face. Definitely got my heart pumping. Wrists are underneath the shoulders. Knees are underneath the hips. Spread the fingers out nice and wide. And on the inhale, drop your belly. Open up your heart, cow pose. Exhale, rounding the spine. Inhale, drop the belly. Open the heart. Exhale, round the spine. One more just like that. Inhale, drop the belly, open the heart. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, come back to your neutral tabletop. 
Curl your toes. Come to sit on towards the heels. If the knees are sensitive, you can always place a block or a dictionary or a pillow underneath the sit bones. Try to elevate the hips a bit more. We'll warm up the wrists a little bit. Take an inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. Start to make some circles with the wrists. Go a little bit quicker. Use the next inhale, open the arms up to your teeth. Feel the fire burning in those forearms. Exhale, take the hands in front of you. Reverse the direction of your circles. Inhale, open the arms. Exhale to stay. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, shake it out. <sighs> nice. Hands come back down to the ground. Uncurl your toes for a moment. Shake the toes out. Curl the toes underneath the feet. Once again, shift the hips towards your heels. And then back up towards the sky. We're finding downward facing dog. So take a moment in your first down dog of the day to pedal out the feet side to side. Shaking those hips out. Slowly intending the heels closer towards the ground as you lengthen through the back, back side of your legs. So your downward facing dog does not need to have the heels on the floor. The important part is to have integrity in the spine and the shoulders so your heart is reaching down towards the ground. I might even start to bend into my knees here if my spine feels like my shoulders are reaching forward. So bend in the knees, let the heart come closer towards those thighs. This is a perfect down dog if that's how it feels better in your body. Take two more breaths here. On the next inhale, lift both of your heels up towards the sky. Exhale, lower the heels back down. Inhale, lift the heels up. Exhale, bend into your knees, look forward towards your hands and slowly walk your feet up to the mat. Deep bend in your knees here. Let your belly fall onto the thighs as you fold forward. Moving into a halfway lift. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Present the heart forward. Hands can come onto the shins, pushing the shoulders away from the ears. Engage the glutes. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come to stand tall at the top of your mat as the arms reach up. Exhale, hands come towards the heart. Inhale, take the arms wide, reach the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, fold forward, hands come out wide once again. Inhale, find that halfway lift, present the heart. Exhale, fold forward, plant your hands down. Where right foot will step back towards the back edge of the mat. Lower the right knee down. You have the option of patting your mat if you'd like to, rolling the edge of the mat, or maybe placing a block if the knees are feeling sensitive. And when you're ready, slowly walk your hands on towards your left knee. If this is comfortable and accessible for you, maybe you'll take the arms up towards the sky as we hold for three breaths. So I'd like you to activate the muscles here. So rather than just relying on flexibility and dumping in your joints as so, Activate your right glute as you square the hips off. So my right hip bone is pointing forward, left hip is pointing in. Exhale, slowly take your hands back down to frame your front foot. My left knee will step back as I arrive into tabletop position. Take a breath here. Exhale, lower the heart and the chin down towards the mat. Keep the hip bones up towards the sky. Slither your way forward as you lift the chest, cobra pose. Uncurl your back toes, the feet are pressing into the mat. Exhale, lower the chest back down. Two more, just like that. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, lower down. Last one, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, lower. Curl your toes, press back up through high plank. Hips towards the sky, downward facing dog. Take a big breath through your nose. Let it go through your mouth. So sun salutations are a fun way to warm up the body. As you move through every movement, 
Sinking inhales and exhales. Create some sort of rhythmic dance in the body with the mind. Let's move into another round, adding a little bit more speed to it here. Inhale, lift the heels up. Exhale, bend into your knees, look forward to the top of the mat. Left foot steps to the hands this time. Right foot will fall. Inhale, find that halfway lift. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, reach the arms up, standing tall. Hands to the heart as you exhale. Arms come wide, inhale. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, find a halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Plant the hands down, left foot will step back this time, setting up for that low lunge once again. Lower the back knee down. Make sure you pad your knee if you have to. And slowly walk your hands on towards your right knee. You have the option of staying here or maybe reach the arms up for the next three breaths. And once again, instead of relying on that flexibility, engage the glutes as you slightly lift up in the hips, finding strength. One more breath. Exhale, hands come back down, frame your front foot. Right foot steps back to meet the left. Take a breath here. Exhale, lower down, chest and chin, keep the hip bones up. Slither your way forward, cobra pose, lifting up a little bit higher than last time. Exhale, lower back down. Let's move into some tricep push-ups here. Doing that a few more times. Inhale, lift up. Elbows are pointing back. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Last one. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. Curl your toes, press all the way back up through high plank. Hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Take two breaths. You guys are doing great. Next inhale, right leg will shine up towards the sky, moving into a three-legged dog. Again, the hips are staying squared, so my right hip is pointing down. Left hip is plugging up. There's equal amount of weight in both of my shoulders. Take the next exhale to draw your right knee towards your nose, coming into a plank position. Feel the core engaged here. Exhale, kick the leg back up to the sky for three-legged dog. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, roll forward, draw the knee towards the nose. And kick it back. Last one, knee towards the nose. This time, hold. Can you draw that knee up just a bit more? Spread the shoulder blades apart. Really creating space between the hands. Land that foot down between the hands. Nice. On the next inhale, slowly reach the arms up as you find high lunge position. Both arms are lifted. Deep bend in that front knee. Left hip is pointing forward. Lengthen through the front line of that leg. One more breath. As you exhale, sweep the arms alongside your body. Let the crown of the head reach towards the front of the mat. Notice how the weight comes into that front leg. Stay strong in the right leg. Inhale, draw the arms back up. Exhale, sweep it into your runner's lunge. One more time. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, sweep it through. Beautiful. Inhale, lift the arms up. Shift the weight into your right leg. Left leg steps forward to the top of the mat. Keep those hips down nice and low. Chair pose position. Take an inhale, lift your hips up two inches. Exhale, sink it down two. If the shoulders are feeling sensitive, you can always take the hands to heart center. A few more rounds just like that. Inhale, lift up two inches. Exhale, sink it down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, sink it down. Nice, stay nice and low like if you're sitting in an invisible
invisible chair. Take your hands on towards the knees. Moving into some cat cows here. Really going to move the gut and use the abdominals. Inhale, broaden the chest. Tilt the sit bones. Exhale, round the spine as you tilt the pelvis forward. Two more, just like that. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale. Feel the core engage here. Staying strong in the legs. Last one. Legs should be on fire by now. But that's nothing new if you're a paddleboarder. Exhale, fold over your legs. Shift the hips up towards the sky. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold forward, plant the hands down. Right foot steps back. Lower the right heel down. You're setting up for a warrior one position. Arms will reach up. Deep bend in that front knee once again. So my toes are at a slight 45 degree angle. The hips and the feet are on separate tracks, so there might be space between the feet. Take two more breaths here. Exhale, hands come back down, frame your front foot. Back heel picks up off the mat. Left foot steps back, high plank position. Engage your core, engage your glutes. Spread the shoulder blades apart. And as you exhale, lower down halfway. Keep the elbow towards your ribs. You're on a floating plank. Inhale, press back up, high plank. Exhale, lower down halfway. These are called push-ups, and just to be nice, we'll do two more. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower down. Last one, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower to hover. Roll over your toes, lift the heart up. Cobra pose or upward facing dog. If you move into your upward facing dog, lift those thighs up off the ground. Press the shoulders. Moving to the other side, left leg will reach up to the sky for three-legged dogs. Keeping those hips square. Use the exhale to come forward into your high plank, drawing that left knee towards the nose. Inhale, kick it up and back. Exhale, knee to the nose. Inhale, kick it back. Exhale, knee towards the nose. Can you hug your knee in a little bit closer towards the nose? Really rounding the spine as you create space to land that left foot between your hands. Wonderful. Strong in the left leg. Look forward as the arms reach up, high lunge position. Feel the lengthening in your right hip flexor. Hips are squared. Two more breaths. On the next, exhale, sweep the arms alongside your body, crown of the head, reaches forward, runner's lunge. Strong left leg. Inhale, reach the arms back up. Exhale, sweep it through. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, sweep it through. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the arms. Weight is in the left leg, right foot steps forward, chair pose. Inhale, lift up two inches. Exhale, sink it back down two. Inhale, lift up two. Exhale, lower down two. Shift your weight into the toes, lift the heels up off the mat. Can you hold for three breaths? Legs are working super hard. Slowly lower those heels back down. Take the hands behind your back. Keep a bend into the knees. Use the inhale to lift the hands off your lower back. Broaden the collarbones. Exhale, fold forward. Let the hands reach towards the top of your mat as you fold over the legs. Nice, juicy shoulder stretch. I'm taking a moment to turn the awareness back towards the breath. Can you start to deepen that breath once again? You guys are doing great. 
Take the hands towards the lower back and then draw a nice massaging line behind the legs. Massaging into the hamstrings, behind the knee, the calves, all the way down towards the ankles. A little bit of self-love. Once the hands reach the floor, take your inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward, plant the hands down. Left foot will step back. Feet are on separate tracks. Left heel lowers down, and those toes are at about a 45 degree angle. When you're ready, arms will reach up. Find warrior one. Deep bend in that front knee. Holding for two breaths. Exhale, hands come back down. Pick the back heel up off the mat. Right foot steps back, high plank. Inhale here. Find your vinyasa, lower down, chaturanga. Coming down to that half plank. Lift that heart space up, upward facing dog. Hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Two breaths here. On the next inhale, right leg will shine up to the sky. One more little sequence on each side before we start to cool down. Exhale, take your right knee towards your nose and land that foot between your hands. Moving up to high lunge, reach the arms up for one breath. Exhale, sweep the arms alongside your body, crown of the head reaches forward. Keep the torso like this, but reach your left hand towards the top of the room on the next inhale. Exhale, take the left elbow towards your right knee. And bring the hands together as you find a prayer twist. Open the heart space up, pressing the palms against each other as you deepen into that twist. Fantastic. Shift your gaze down towards the mat. Left foot will step to the top of the mat to meet the right. You're in a twisted chair. Keep that deep bend into the knees here. And when you're ready, shift the weight into your left foot. Right heel will start to rise off the mat. Gently rise up on your left leg. Coming all the way to standing, open the arms up. Right knee comes up to 90 degrees in front of you. Beautiful, you have the option of taking that front hand towards your right knee and turning the gaze over to those back fingertips. If you're comfortable here, your left piece fingers can come to the inside of your right pinky, uh, right big toe and maybe you push the leg out. Two more breaths wherever you are. And on the next exhale, slowly step that right foot Back to the back edge of your mat, coming into warrior two. So your back foot is almost parallel to the back edge of your mat. Deep bend in your front knee. Gaze is over to your middle finger. Wonderful, flip your front palm, exalt your warrior as the left hand reaches up towards the sky. Exhale, we'll cartwheel the hand down to the ground so the right hand will come down to the floor. Left arm reaches up as the back heel lifts off the mat. Easy twist. Wonderful, one more breath here. Exhale, walk your top hand that's up to the sky behind that right bottom hand. Toes will start to turn onto the long edge of the mat. You're coming into a wide-legged forward fold. Hands can come to the outside of the feet or anywhere that feels comfortable. If you'd like to deepen into the stretch in the back line of the legs, you can walk the hands between the feet as you pull the chest through. While you're in this position, start to explore different movements, maybe shifting the weight more into the heels or more into the toes. And notice how that feels in your body. Two 
two more breaths here. Inhale, lift up halfway, walking the hands underneath your face as you lift the chest. Exhale, walk your hands to frame the back toes at the back edge of your mat. All the toes point in the same direction. Back heel is lifted. Let's step that right foot all the way back. Find downward facing dog. One big breath here. Exhale, let it go through the mouth. On the next inhale, left leg will come up towards the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee comes towards the nose, create space between the hands. And then land that foot between the hands. Setting up for your high lunge once again. Reach the arms up on the inhale. Feel the lengthening in that right hip flexor as you hold for one more breath. Exhale, sweep the arms alongside the body, crown of the head reaches forward. Hold here for a moment. And on the next inhale, right arm will come up towards the sky. Exhale, takes that right elbow towards your left knee as you set up for your prayer twist. Top hand comes to meet that bottom hand. Broaden up the collarbones. Gaze turns down towards the floor. Back foot steps to meet the top foot at the top of the mat. Keep deepening into that twist as you sink the hips down a little bit lower. Shift your weight into your right foot. Can you lift the left heel up off the mat? And slowly start to rise, coming onto that right foot. Open the arms up as you twist. Focus on finding a drishti. So a drishti is a point of focus, something that's not moving. You can stay here, or maybe take that right hand to your left knee, turning the gaze over to your back fingertips. Or you can always let the pinky finger, or the peace fingers come to that big toe as you straighten that front leg. Wherever you are, hold for two more breaths. Exhale, sweep it through, find warrior two. Flip your front palm, exalt your warrior, reach that top hand up towards the sky. Exhale, cartwheel the hands back down. Left hand comes to the floor, this time right arm reaches up. Strong in that bottom arm as you reach and twist. Back heel is lifted. One more breath. Exhale, walk your top hand behind that bottom hand. Turn all your toes on the long edge of the mat. Find your wide-legged forward fold once again. Just for a few moments, let the spine decompress. Soften the breath. Inhale, rise up, find your halfway lift, walking the hands underneath the face. And then turn all your toes towards the top edge of your mat. Framing your front foot. Step the left foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward as you find a plank pose. Bend to the knees and slowly make your way onto the sit bones. Take the soles of the feet down towards the mat. Spine is nice and long. Reach the arms alongside the body. And when you're ready, start to slowly lower one vertebra at a time. Draw your knees in towards your chest. And find a gentle rock side to side. Hands will come on to that right knee. Extend the left leg all the way down to the ground. 
holding here in your wind relief for just a few breaths. Left hand will grab a hold of the right shin and start to turn that right knee towards the left edge of your mat. Right arm comes out to a T beside you as you twist. And try to keep both shoulders grounded here as you deepen into the twist. You might allow the eyes to shut down. with every exhale. Inhale, slowly come back up, draw that right knee back in towards the chest. One breath. And then take the left knee in towards the chest as well. Give yourself a hug. Sway it out side to side. Take the hands onto the left knee. Extend the right leg all the way down to the mat. Wind relief on this side. Notice the breath softening. Releasing that left shin of the left hand, moving it into that right hand. Start to twist onto your right side body. This time turn the gaze over to your left fingertips. Keep that left shoulder grounded. Every exhale, see if you can soften just a bit more. Inhale, draws the knee back up to center. Right knee comes into the chest. One more big hug as you rock it out side to side. And slowly open those knees up nice and wide, drawing the knees towards the shoulders. You can stay here if this feels comfortable and enough for you today. Or you can show, shine the soles of the feet up towards the sky taking the hands to the outside edges of the feet as you find happy baby pose. And just like any happy baby, allow yourself to be playful, rocking it out side to side. And maybe even adding playfulness and curiosity as you start to lengthen one leg. And maybe the other. Maybe you lengthen both. Whatever you choose, you have five more breaths to explore. Exhale, slowly bend into the knees once again. Taking the knees into the chest for one more big hug. Gently draw the chin in towards the knees as you wrap the arms around yourself. Let the shoulders and the head fall back to the mat. As you gently extend the right leg all the way out to the top right corner of the mat. 
The left leg extends out as well. Arms come alongside the body. Take up your space. Allow the palms to face up as a sign of receiving. The ground is supporting you. You are safe. Back body is heavy. While front body is light, weightless, and somewhat effervescent. Feeling the energy in the heart radiating through you. Expanding beyond you. You are light, weightless, and effervescent. the body. Inviting gentle movement through fingers and toes. And noticing how the breath moves through you. Next, inhale, slowly reach your arms up overhead. Find that full morning body stretch once again. And as you exhale, side out through the mouth. Soften the body. Gently make your way onto either side of the body. And in your own time, rising back up to seated. Take the hands down on towards the knees. The palms can face down as a sign of grounding or the palms can face up as a sign of receiving. And we'll close our practice with one big cleansing breath. So all together, take an inhale through your nose. Gently let it go. This time, big breath in. Sigh it out through the mouth. Do one more just like that. Let it go. <sighs> Gently take the hands towards the heart. Thanking you for taking the time to come practice this morning. Hoping that you feel lighter, more energized, and grounded. Looking forward to the next time we get to move together. From my heart to yours, namaste. Again, my name is Kahin from Sup Yoga with Kahin. If you have any comments or questions, you can hit me up in my DMs 
or shoot a message down below. Thanks so much for practicing, guys.